couple of weeks ago, we talked about shared myths. Today, we're going to talk about unshared memories. But first, let's talk soup. It is December, people. It's cold in most of this hemisphere. Go ahead and treat yourself. Get some bone broth to help you recover from your cold, from your workout, from whatever. Just give you something different to sip on. I know it's Christmas season. You're probably going with eggnog or apple cider if you're shooting for warm right now and different. But here, try this. Go get yourself some chipotle beef bone broth. Pour it in a cup. Heat it up for 45 seconds. If that doesn't make you smile just a little, you're probably not really human. The good people at Kettle and Fire want to give you 10% off for trying it out. Head over to kettleandfire.com. Use code BETTERHUMANHOOD at checkout for 10% off your order. That's Kettle and Fire, K E T T L E A N D F I R E dot com. Use code Better Human Hood and check out 10% off. Let's do the show. Welcome to Better Human Hood, where we build a better world by building better people. We have to live on the planet and we have to live with other people. We have conversations about making that a wonderful proposition. Hey, welcome or welcome back to Better Humanhood. Hope you're having a great time, whatever you're doing. I want to tell you about one of the containers that I've moved with for the past 20 years. You know how every time you move, whether it's new house, new apartment, you're bouncing around a little bit, and then you toss the containers in the attic. Sometimes you've got these bins that you throw around. Sometimes you've got these boxes that you've folded and unfolded. Well, I have these milk crates from the HP Hood company. They say HP Hood and Sons on them. And I only recently found out that Hood is not everywhere. And Hood was ubiquitous in my childhood, as was that crate and other crates like it. You see, it's a New England-based dairy company that wound up being bought for or owned for a little while by a company in New York, so now it's in, now Hood's in New York, but it's mostly in New England. Yeah, Agway had it for about 15 years, but it's back out on its own, kind of bouncing around. Hood was frequently the brand of milk we had in the house, and ice cream too, when sour cream, cottage cheese, dairy, that's what they did. The logo was and still is very simple. It's an oval. It's reverse, is it's... Um, the oval is filled in red hood. It says hood in white letters on the inside. But the fact that hood is a regional company means that many of you have never had a hoodsy cup. It's astonishing to me, and your childhood was the worst for it. I mean, I'm sure you had wonderful ice cream treats growing up, but if you were raised on Rocket Pops and King Cones, you don't know what you're missing. Everybody had those. Hoodsies are really simple. They're... You know, waxed cardboard, there's just a little cup, probably, maybe it's a half cup of ice cream, I'm not sure exactly, but it's vanilla and chocolate, had a little waxed cardboard cover with a little tab that you pulled up, and it always came with a wooden spoon attached, so you did it with a wooden spoon, and after, after a while, they came out with sundaes, you know, they, they'd have hot fudge or butterscotch or strawberry, and what they did was they they put the they put the sauce in like a five pointed star pattern within the hoodsy cup. It still came with that wooden spoon though. It's amazing what we remember from our childhood, huh? In my memory, that milk crate that I was telling you about comes from Murphy's Pop Shop, which closed early this year. Murphy's is a short walk from our house. And as soon as we were old enough to responsibly cross a busy street at a light, we were allowed to go there on our own. In addition to being a small convenience store, they had a little arcade in the back. They had a penny and candy shop upstairs and a small diner that sold, among other things, a foot-long hot dog. It was 10 cents to add chili to it. I remember that. When penny candy went out of style, they expanded the diner upstairs. For a while, a small bakery would bring by a small number of loaves of star-shaped Italian bread. 
we'd go over there on Friday to make sure we had one for the weekend because Sunday was usually the kids helped out make spaghetti sauce day. And you needed star bread to dip in that sauce. They also had craft soda and glass bottles. Obviously, we weren't calling it craft soda then. Uh, yeah, the stuff that like Jones does now, uh, but not like the weird flavors. You know, they, yeah, you know, they were reusable craft bottles. We'd bring them back. They, yeah, you know, they were reusable glass bottles. They, yeah, you know, we'd empty them, wash them, and we'd bring them back in the crates, and they, yeah, you know, we'd get another crate full. Yeah, you know, they'd come in flavors like lime and orange and cream, and and they had root beer, and. Yeah, you know, just it was different from yeah, you know, it was different from having you know Coke and A and W. I don't know exactly how accurate my memory is, but I'm betting on some of this stuff is pretty good. There are a lot of memories from our childhoods we'd consider shared memories. Yeah. You know, even if we didn't grow up in the same place, other people born the same year I was, nineteen seventy six, will remember some of the cartoons that are specific to our generation, like he Man and the Masters of the Universe, Voltron, Thundercats. Remember the toys, G.I. Joes, Transformers, Lincoln Logs, and you know, some other cultural markers. It, it, caps, you know, that came in like red rolls. They used to um you know make the you know, set the gunpowder off with a rock. Uh Cosby Show, Light Brights. Um we'll also have shared Memories based on kind of what we were into as kids, chemistry sets maybe. Um, yeah, Jewish kids uh, we'd share our bar and bat mitzvahs symbolically with Soviet children who weren't allowed to practice Judaism. You know, there were also culture markers like um, Tiananmen Square, uh, Rodney King beating uh, O.J. Simpson. You remember Run O.J. Run, the Ford Bronco. Uh, AIDS, remember when that came and scared the heck out of everybody because we didn't know what it was until the mid-80s. You know, uh, and when Fish hit, Social Distortion, and Beastie Boys, Public Enemy, you know, movies like Karate Kid, you remember those um, parental advisory explicit lyrics stickers that they put on cassette tapes and later CDs? That was, that was Tipper Gore, Al Gore's wife. You, know, you remember Bill Clinton's vice president? Yeah. And then there were memories that we share specifically with our friends and families, like going to Murphy's to play the arcade and like the pizza shop around the corner. I didn't find out until, I think until college, that most places like pie cut their pizza. Yeah, because I grew up getting my pizza from Frankie and Johnny's and they square cut it. Yeah, the one thing that square cutting your pizza does, well, A, it gives you smaller pieces, so you think you have more more pizza, but you get, you know, if you're one of those people who just leaves your crust, you know, the when, when you square cut it, you get four pieces that are just like one bite of cheese and sauce and then crust. <laughs> Me, I, I like their crust. I don't know. My dad was always the crust guy. Yeah. You know, Beyond that, you know, maybe playing hockey in the parking lot behind Notre Dame School. We used to do that. We used to do that and play baseball over at White Street, which is the elementary school we all went to. But as adults, we have memories from childhood that we have no idea. You know, like I was telling you about Hood and Hoodsy Cups. I had no idea that I didn't share that with the people around me until very recently. And that was one for me. What are... What are some of the memories that you have from your childhood that I need to go out and discover? Let me know. Come by betterhumanhood.com. You can see links for the stuff in this post. And at the same time, hit the contact form. Let me know what I need to discover from your childhood. You have yourself a great day, a great week. Be who you will to be. Spread the love, y'all. See you next time. Thank you for listening. Get show notes and more at betterhumanhood.com. Leave us a rating and review wherever you listen to podcasts. And have yourself a wonderful day.